Hi, my name is Adam Bush. Uh, this is my personal learning network project for my caps, capstone at Ashland University. Um, my project uh, is centered around uh, helping students with dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia. Um, I recently started uh, working at a school um, as an intervention specialist. Um, and uh, on my caseload, I do have a student uh, that has dyslexia and dysgraphia, a little bit of dyscalculia. Um, so, um, in working with this kid, I decided that it would be uh, a good opportunity to research different uh, technologies that um, help these students. So, um, I decided to choose this topic for my capstone. Um, as you can see at the top, um, I have my summary uh, for, for this project, rationale for doing it. Um, goals I want to be able to compile different strategies that I can use and can share with other teachers to build uh, in my building to help uh, help the student the student has the ability to be successful in the regular education classroom but needs accommodations to be able to display what he knows um, so my goal is to uh, find technology uh, add it to the site um, to accommodate these students um, so. so I began my project by looking at dyslexia uh, and, and the ways that technology can help students with dyslexia and uh, in talking to some colleagues uh, I learned that there was um, a, a font out there that is believed to help dyslexic students. Uh, I did a little research um, and, and found the website Open Dyslexia um, and it is a free site that uh, will allow you to download this typeface that uh, is supposed to help dyslexic students read better. Um, so I attached that to the site. It allows you to uh, download it. Uh, you could use this uh, in the classroom if it did work with your student. Uh, I don't know that it is 100% with all students, but um, that have uh, dyslexia, but um, certainly you could you could download this um, font uh, and then just you know copy or highlight uh, font on worksheets and and use this font for the student who has dyslexia um, as a benefit to them. Um, and then uh, I did some uh, research just to support this. Um, and I found uh, this article. Um, so this article supports the idea that um, changing the, the way that things are, are typed into um, a, a worksheet or, or whatever uh, a student with dyslexia is reading um, can really benefit. Um, their, their main focus, uh, aside from font, is uh, the idea that using just different spacing for the student, providing extra space in between uh, words, uh, is a great way to uh, allow the student to um, read the words easier, um, uh, allow them to just see the word by itself and not as close to the other words uh, allows less chance for it to be jumbled for the student, which is uh, beneficial to them. And then finally on the subject of fonts, we've got um, this article uh, in the Journal of Educational Research uh, that found that uh, different fonts that are actually more difficult for the student to read um, uh, force uh, students with uh, reading difficulties like dyslexia to to focus more on the reading uh, which allows them uh, to read more for understanding and uh, increases the student's ability to comprehend what is being read um, so uh, with a font that is more difficult to read um, it forces them to to take the time to focus on what they're reading um, because it is a little bit more difficult. Uh, they're less lazy with their reading um, and, and thus their comprehension levels of the material is increased. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Um, I don't know 
uh, it doesn't really show that it relates to the 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 open dyslexic um, font, but uh, in looking at the open dyslexic font, uh, it does seem to be the the letters are a little bit weird looking, um, a little bubbly, rounded. Um, it might uh, be a little bit more difficult for those students to read, and uh, force them then to pay attention a little bit more and increase their comprehension levels as they read. So that's um, just a closer look at uh, different types of uh, fonts and the, the benefits that come with those. Uh, next I looked at uh, LiveScribe Pen. Um, it's a very useful tool. Uh, actually at the the past school that I was at, I had one, uh, so I had an opportunity to kind of play with it a little bit, um, but we didn't really have any students uh, with the, the disabilities that really matched up with it, and we only had one pen in the building. Um, and uh, there was also just some issues that we talked about as far as um, uh, because the the pen does record uh, just concerns with if it recorded another student's name or anything like that um, potentials for problem there but um, all that aside uh, it could be a very useful tool for a student with dyslexia um, it records uh, or it can record a lecture while um, the student is taking notes um, so then the student when they're looking at those notes later uh, they can click on where they were taking the notes and hear um, what the teacher was saying during that period uh, while they were taking those notes just to reinforce uh, if they missed something on the notes um, uh, and just to be able to hear that instead of having to read it for the student um, is a significant advantage for them um, and, uh, and, I, and they also uh, in my research I found just the teachers being able to use this resource and then putting it on like a website or something then afterwards um, so when the student gets home they can go on the internet and then check that out um, I found a video clip um, advertising this I have dyslexia and in school with the watch card pen, I usually am able to go back and listen to it over again instead of having the pressure of hearing it once in class and then that's the only time I can hear it. I can hear it again later when I get home or just even right after that class because it's on the pen. The differences for my daughter and Laura. So yeah, this goes just through. Um, I'm not going to replay the. If you want to see the whole video, it is on the website. Um, but uh, it, it goes through and um, identifies just the, the positives of this pen uh, that I've touched on a little bit. Um, but uh, I think it would just, especially with a student, um, if they could get their own um, transitioning from high school to college, uh, this could be something that they could, um, just a, an accommodation that they could then take with them on to college. Um, and in those big lecture halls um, where you're just required to take notes and it's it's sink or swim on your own um, for them to be able to have that uh, recording to go with uh, whatever notes they were able to take um, and maybe just be less focused on taking notes and more focused on uh, listening to what is being talked about um, and knowing that you've got the support of that pen to to help you uh, then later on that evening or the next day uh, review the the lecture that that happened um, so huge benefit for these kids and then along with that I have uh, a link to uh, the LiveScribe website and there's actually a section that focuses on uh, how it can be beneficial for students with disability um, another uh, video uh, describing students um, I believe that they're at the college level um, and how the LiveScribe pen benefits them. Um, again, a great way to show that this uh, is an accommodation that can follow a student through uh, their academic career and even beyond that. It would be a great resource for a student in the workplace um, 
and and with any accommodation the earlier you can get a student started working with this and get them used to it and get them um, just acquainted with the, the accommodation the better they're going to be later in life using it uh, the more commonplace it's going to seem to them um, the easier it's going to be uh, so so just a great resource great tool for for students with disabilities um, yeah and I did find that um, as I was doing other research and and you'll see in research uh, later that I've gone through uh, some kind of recording device pen uh, is recommended throughout research uh, done with students that have disability um, so that's that's kind of the end of my look at dyslexia um, next I move on to resources to help students with dysgraphia which is uh, the writing difficulty uh, that these students come across. Um, the first resource uh, that I look at is actually one that I'm implementing with the, the student that I work with, uh, which is Dragon, naturally speaking. Uh, we actually use, uh, not naturally speaking, but the um, we have iPod, iPads for our students uh, with disabilities. Uh, they were bought with um, our uh, intervention um, money that we got for the year um, so we uh, were able to download a dragon software for free um, I don't know really how it compares to the uh, dragon software that you can get for the computer um, we're still kind of working with the student to get him to figure out um, how to speak with it um, getting punctuation in uh, but uh, I think we've made great strides since I've actually started this project, which has been good to see. Um, he's becoming a lot more used to using it. Um, so Dragon is, uh, a lot of people have heard of it, I guess I'm talking about it like, like everybody knows about it. It is uh, a voice recognition software, um, so as you speak into this case, into the iPad, um, it will it will turn uh, what you're saying into writing. Um, at f when we first started using it with the with the student, um, it was funny. We uh, had it recording, and he started talking, and he went on and on and on. And then we stopped it, and there was just errors all over the place. So uh, since then, our strategy for using it has been to do one sentence at a time, and then stop, and then he uh, edits the. Um, edits what has been recorded and then goes on to the next sentence. Uh, it's a little slower but still uh, much faster and much less tedious for the student than uh, actually writing an assignment was. So then to support the idea that Dragon works well with uh, students with disability with uh, uh, dysgraphia, uh, I've got a link to an article uh, this article was done by uh, Carol Frankenberger. Um, she uh, actually did a study uh, to see um, uh, how students would perform uh, that have dysgraphia using Dragon Dictation um, on a consistent basis. Um, and she found that, uh, like I'm finding, that it really improved the student's writing ability, uh, improved their desire to even write, uh, where they would have frustration before. Um, now they were more encouraged to write. Um, and uh, it really put them on more of a level playing field with their same age peers uh, as far as writing goes. Um, so just a very positive uh uh, study uh, for Dragon Dictation and the benefits that it can have for a student with dysgraphia. Um, I'm going to pause right now and I guess we're about 14 minutes and start a new recording.